Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to explain a little bit about my breeding strategy for the 2024 season, and I'm gonna show you some different examples. So I decided to kind of split up my breeding between stuff that is very popular in the pet trade, things that I know will sell really well, and also uh, breed some things for myself to pr uh, project some projects into the future. So uh, some examples of those that sell really well. <clears throat> And we were just at the beginning, kind of the beginning of the main part of our hatching season right now. So uh, I think I've got like 80, 81 clutches for the year so far, I believe, which is down a lot from a couple of years ago, believe it or not. Um, even though 81 still sounds pretty crazy. Um, but uh, we're, we probably have hatched maybe 15 to 20 clutches so far this year. So I wanted to just show you some of the, kind of like the pet quality stuff that we're hatching. And then I'm gonna show you some really cool stuff that we hatched out. So this is how I set up my babies when they first when they first hatch. I put them on damp paper towel. The specs in here is a little bit of the vermiculite from their uh, egg incubation box. Um, these guys will stay in here together until they shed, and then they're going to get set up individually in the racks in here. So these are actually uh, cherry bombs or red-eyed leucistics. So I bred cherry bomb to cherry bomb this year. Wanted to be as efficient as I could. With producing them so I figured well why why not just do cherry bomb to cherry bomb and then everything will come out cherry bomb so really really cool uh, some people really like the red eyes with the white bodies um, if that red eye isn't for them then the blue-eyed leucistics are a great way to go we produce quite a few blue-eyed leucistics here this one right here is a super Mojave um, you can tell the Super Mojave's have a darker head. And sometimes they have slightly off-white bodies. So I, in a lot of my breedings, I produce both of them. So these guys just shed. We're going to actually set them up individually today. Um, I put them on a piece of dry paper towel for right now. Um, but they will get set up individually and get start feeding today. Okay, and then for people that like darker eyes with their leucistics. We have a clutch of black eyed leucistics or super fires and these just hatched i think they just hatched over the weekend and um so i bred a orange dream super fire to a vanilla scream so a vanilla fire pastel and i produced a nice variety of babies got a quite a few super fires in there which is the main thing i'm going for um the vanilla screams and that kind of stuff those are really nice too they they generally sell pretty well as pets so another nice example of that type of clutch. And then another clutch I hatch is pies. Uh, can't really produce enough pies most of the time. Um, these are, this is from a um, pastel, well, possible pastel Mardi Gras pie bred to a yellow belly pie. So all of these are either yellow belly or asphalt pies. And then this one didn't get much for Enchi in this clutch. This one, I believe, is a Mar Mardi Gras pied. So hit kind of bad odds with this, but but pieds in general are very popular, great beginner uh, ball python. Most people, I would say, if you line up a group of different ball pythons to somebody looking for the first one, they're gonna pick a pied probably eight out of 10 times, I, I would imagine. Okay, now for some of the projects that I do for myself, mostly to, to progress different projects forward, um, here is an example of this is a gcr azanthic pied bred to a black pewter pied so here and these guys just hatch too so this is a pewter pied so black pastel pastel pied that's het for azanthic here's a black pastel pied that's het for azanthic and then i got you know some various pastel pieds and things like that too another black pet another uh, black pewter pied here another black pastel pied here so I'll hang on to probably half of this clutch, I'd say, at, at the most, probably at least three out of this clutch I'll hang on to to get back into my GCR Xanthic Pie project. I think these are gonna be really cool in black, gray, and white. Um, and the idea is to get a nice black and white ball python that has Xanthic in it. Okay, then <clears throat> this is a clutch I really like that I just hatched. These guys, are, um, I brought a hurricane spot nose clown to uh, hurricane, yeah, hurricane spot nose clown to a pastel hypo clown, 
and this is what these are some of the nicer babies that I produced out of this this is a pastel hurricane clown hat hypo and this is a hurricane clown hat hypo and this is a hurricane spot nose clown hat hypo so these these two are the ones I'm gonna keep uh, these two will be really good for getting that project going in the hypo clowns I'll breed I'll, I think this one's a male this one's a female so I'll breed this one to a hypo clown in a year or two and I'll breed you know this one to some kind of hypo clown combo in the not too distant you know probably three years from now and then um, produce some really nice hurricane spot nose hypo clowns okay then the last ones that I have to show you today is a project that I'm really into it's the g-stripe clown project and I hatched my first clutch of them this year it should produce a few I've got a, several clutches incubating but it should produce a few different g-stripe clown combos this year here is just a regular g-stripe clown it's a, definitely a really unique look it doesn't look like a genetic stripe it doesn't really look like a clown either it's kind of a, a nice blend of the two and I really think that by adding specific color and pattern genes into this we're going to make some awesome stuff and I know other people have made some really cool stuff already in uh, in the fairly recent past and uh, there's just so much to do um, I'm adding uh, let's see spot nose cypress leopard and I've got a few other different genes uh, that I'm adding into it acid uh, and a few others that I'm adding into this project right now which hopefully I'll even have some of those um, hatching out this year so really really cool project um, I've actually got a few different uh, animals from this project available right now including some females that are getting really good size on them <clears throat> and here are a couple of banana g-stripe clowns so I when I first got into this project I went banana with them right away um, I really love the way they look as babies they do fade a little bit as they get older uh, but, you know, again, adding specific genes into the project, I think, is really going to help keep that color and contrast. You know, yellow belly or asphalt would be great in there. Um, like I said, leopard. There's a lot of things. So hopefully you'll see some of that from me this upcoming season. So these guys just have incredible colors on them. Really nice orange heads. All right, well, that's it for today. Um, like I said, I'm just starting the hatching season right now, so I should have a lot of cool stuff hatching over the next few months. I think I've got like 80 clutches incubating, give or take. Uh, so lots of really cool stuff coming. If you wanna see what I have available, make sure to go to my Morph Market page or go to my website, royalconstrictordesigns.com. Um, and please like and subscribe to this video, and I'll be back again soon to show you some more cool stuff.